Today we're looking at perimeter, and perimeter is how long the outside of an object is, a 2D object that is. So we're looking at these rectangles today, and all the blue rectangles we're finding the missing side length. There might be one or there might be more than one, so you're going to fill in whatever question marks that you see. For this one I have a side length of 2, and the one opposite of 2 is also 2 because those two are the same length. Then on the bottom I have the side length of 4, so I had to figure out what the top side length is. If this length is 4 and it's the same size as this length, then what do you think this side is going to be? Also 4. So I'm going to double click my question mark so it turns blue, and then I'm going to find the 4 on my keyboard and type it in. Then that shows me that the missing side length is 4. There are 10 of those practice ones. So you can go ahead and figure those out. And then when you get to the green uh, shapes, these are all going to be rectangles or squares. When you get to the green ones, you're going to be telling me what the perimeter is. Now remember to find the perimeter, you have to add up all of the sides and then tell me what the perimeter is here in the question mark over here. So I have 5, 2, 5, and 2. Now I always start at the top of my shape to make sure I don't keep counting what I've already counted. So I start at the top because when, when I go around the shape and get back to the top, I know that I'm finished. So I'm going to do 5 plus 2, which is 7, and then 7 plus 5, which is 12, and then 12 plus 2, which is 14. And I know I got back to the top, so I'm finished. So the perimeter of this shape is 14. I'm going to double click my question mark so it turns blue, and then I'm going to type 14 on my keyboard. And that tells the teacher that the perimeter of the shape is 14. Now you don't have to go in order to add those together. You can also do simple math facts. So I know 5 plus 5 is 10, and I know 2 plus 2 is 4. So then I know 5 or 10 because 5 plus 5 is 10, 10 plus 4 is 14. So if you'd like to do that and play around with the numbers instead of going around the shape, you can. If you'd also like to grab a dry erase board or a piece of paper to help you do your math, or if you'd like to do tallies for your perimeters, that's great. Go ahead and grab one of those to help you. There are also 10 of these to practice, so when you get done with the last one, you can turn that in.